hi guys <laughs> wow eh? um, i would have thought that your 2020 is going to work out like this like in march you'd just be sitting at home self-quarantining <laughs> Um, self-isolating and yeah and just being you know away from everyone you know and I for one never thought my nails would really get to this state but I think you know there's bigger problems in the world than honestly having nails that look like I'm not gonna go into that um, but yeah anyway my face is on flick my hair is on flick thank you Sunny for the hookup girl <laughs> anyway um how are you guys doing you know how are you doing with the with this new um state that we're in you know this new form of social where we're sitting at home and yeah we're finding new ways to entertain ourselves and not going anywhere i for one really initially felt oh my god it was the worst thing ever because i'm an extrovert i love people i i get my energy off people and it's been hard it's been hard knowing that um you can't just meet up with friends you can't just go places and that you need to just i don't know find yourself you know some entertainment within your parameters you know but anyway i'm not really too worried about it because yeah there's always something to do and so forth um i know for a lot of people um a lot of people have come up with a lot of suggestions of what to do to pass time and so forth but i feel that um don't give yourself too much pressure um i know there's people going around saying oh you can learn a new um, technique um you can pick up a new hobby you can do whatever that you've been trying to do for the longest time but i think that you know what just um do what feels right for you you know i think that it should just be a natural progression we're gonna be probably in this thing for a while so you don't want to start something that you're not gonna be consistent in and but anyway um i'm not here to tell you what to do all i'm here to do is that is to tell you that you know what for me what i found um that's that's been working for me is that i think i'm gonna really go through my old books or new books or actually books that i started and never finished uh but yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna start you know going through the process of reading those books and seeing what uh, i can actually learn from that because i'm a reader as much as i'm an extrovert i love reading i love yeah i've always loved reading and i think this is a good time to actually catch up on that i missed me obviously watching a bit of reality tv that's my other love but anyway um i thought um you know i could read the a book that i really it has really changed my life and it is really a bit you know dull given the fact that we are really in a state where people a lot of people are dying and so forth but for me it really changed my life it inspired me to really live my best life and to really think about um where i wanna what i wanna do and my life's purpose as well you know and i read it a few years ago um but it's a book that i always feel that i need to read from time to time like every year i always just grab, grab it and and read it and it's this one here <clears throat> it's called the five regrets of the dying so the five regrets of the dying was written by brownie way um and it's a life transformed by the dearly departing i know it's a bit maybe somber maybe you don't want to really hear about it at this point in time but i think that there's just so much um we don't talk about you know in terms of death and and i think it's only after people die that you wonder what they were thinking or what they were what was going through their mind and what regrets they actually had and so forth and i always think that it's a it's a gift you know to be able to to learn you know about it before you also leave this earth i mean obviously death is inevitable everyone has to go through it but i feel that the lessons that other people have uh, passed on you know um as they were about to to leave the earth it's always good to know about it and and really check on your own self as to what is it about your own life that you can maybe you know change 
you know so yeah so I, I i stumbled upon this book this book was written by this lady she's australian and it was initially a blog post um that she had done when she was working in palliative care palliative care for those who don't know is um care for people that are actually um on their deathbeds that are like i think two to three weeks or probably two to three months um away from 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 dying and those are people that are that have been ill for a long time terminally ill or maybe the elderly that are just um just waiting to die but anyway she spent a lot of time um looking after as a carer uh, and she was looking after people that were ill and uh she documented the most common regrets that they had and this was then the top five uh common regrets that she then put together in a book and I, I i found this very interesting and Bronnie way was a banker as well so i thought oh okay well this is interesting she left um australia and then i think she came to the uk and she was hopping from i won't say she was really hopping from one city to the next but um she wanted a career that had a bit of heart in it where she could actually make a difference in other people's lives and care work was something that found her and yeah and 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 it changed her life and she wrote a book about it and i found it very interesting and yeah so anyway let's get right into it so um amongst the five regrets that she had um she categorized it um on the um, in the in, in the most common regrets to the least common regrets and one of the the regret number one was i wish i'd had the courage to live a life true to myself not the life others expected of me um and i think with this one for me what when i read it you know it was really about a lady that actually uh, got married and she had a husband and she had a family and she never really she was never herself you know and it was only when her husband passed away like later in life that she thought okay you know what now she can really just live her own life and be herself and then she became terminally ill um with cancer and yeah and then she was sick and she regretted the fact that she had never really been herself and um you know she had never followed her own path and when she looked back she had never really expressed expressed herself and for me it made me realize that you know in this world where we are all different where we are all unique and where we are all given different gifts to be ourselves it's it's such a shame and it's sad that you can actually die you know with all the talent that you were supposed to give to the world however you didn't get a chance to do it because you know what you felt you had to live under someone's shadow and so forth and i think a lot of people when they grow up in fact not even a lot of people as we grow up we become um people steal a lot of our shine so you become this person so if you look at kids kids grow up and they're like out they they're very outspoken they're assertive and so forth um and when when they grow up it's sort of like they start peeling of themselves and when they start peeling when you become maybe in your teens you sort of like have lost a bit of yourself and then you get into your adult young adulthood and by then you don't really you're not very assertive anymore because of the things that people have told you about yourself that you cannot do and so forth and for me this book actually just reminded me that you know what really saying, um be more of yourself really um try to find out um what 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 you're about you know and 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 be more of that um cultivate you know your your, your talents um spend spend time alone trying to find out um what really ha makes you happy in life and when you do that you sort of like find your path you know and i think reading this woman's story it made me realize that you know you don't want to wait until very late in life to really uncover all those gifts that you have but also you don't want to wait until um later in life where you look back and you realize you know what you really wasted time really being somebody else um the second regret was that um i wish i hadn't worked so hard and this was most this was the most common regret with males males uh being men um and for them working very hard was like um i don't know it, it came very natural you know uh, being part of the world of work for them it gave them a, a sense of purpose so this man had worked all his life and 
it had given him something to be proud of in society you know he felt that in society he was someone that was recognizable and people gave him that respect because he had uh, a, a title at work and so forth um but anyway so this man he worked he supported his family kids went off to college and so forth and then when the when it was just him and his wife left in the house the wife kept on saying okay when are you going to resign so that we can travel the world we can enjoy ourselves and so forth but he kept on postponing he kept on um putting it off and he knew that um with every year that came he knew that he wasn't ready so the wife would be like okay maybe you know at the time we sail off into the sunset and so forth they'd be like okay yes start looking at uh, holiday packages and tell me how much it is and blah blah knowing fully well that he was not going to resign in that year and yes when the year ended he'd be like oh well next year and so forth but anyway he eventually decided okay let me do this let me stop working and resign and so forth but unfortunately it was a little too late his wife uh, found out that she had a lump and she was actually dying and then she died and this was his biggest regret that he wished he hadn't worked so hard because he'd actually missed out on a lot of things in his in his in his family life he would missed out on a lot of um stuff uh in his kids life um you know and there was no way to make up for that you know yes work is very important but this should always be a balance you know it should never really come to a point where now you have to really choose between family and work and yes it gives you a sense of purpose a sense of belonging and so forth but where you become a different person or where you feel that you know you've given you've, you're giving too much and you're actually sacrificing your own personal happiness then i think that's when you need to really ask yourself is it really worth it you know um the third regret was i wish i'd had the courage sorry i wish i i wish i'd had the courage to express my feelings and this was someone that felt that you know they always had to um compromise themselves every time when um they had to say how they felt they felt okay they had to consider other people's feelings they had to be thinking um you know what will the other person think what will they say and so forth and they settled for a mediocre uh, existence you know and um you know yes you have to keep uh, peace with other people but suppressing your feelings you know on behalf of other people doesn't help you because ultimately people will take advantage of you or they will disregard you um all the time because you never really express um your feelings and so forth and how you feel you know so that was another regret that um this person felt that had they expressed their feelings then people would really have known who they truly were about and who they truly were you know so um the fourth regret was that i wish i'd stayed in touch with friends so in this particular regret um this person wished that you know they had enjoyed full benefits of friendship you know throughout their life and um it was at a later stage that they they decided that um you know they didn't really need those friends anymore but it was in their dying days that they realized oh my goodness they had missed out on the golden friendships that um they had had you know previously but unfortunately because they'd never kept in touch with their friends that uh connection was no more and i think it happens a lot with people um people drift away we go our different paths we meet different people and so forth but there's always those those friendships that really you've formed in your life that were important in your life and i promise you no matter where you go or who you become you will always have a yearning for that and i think this person was really wishing the fact that they wish they had actually kept in touch because those people really knew who they were and they really understood them you know um and now it was a little too late you know on their deathbeds and um yeah you know um yeah they got they got caught up in their own life and they thought okay they don't really need this friendship but as they were on their dying bed they thought you know what um i took for granted the friendship i took for granted the family and i took for granted the relationships that i had with other people and yeah that was just a reminder also for me that you know what you need to really keep in touch with people that are really dearest to you so the fifth regret was i wish i had let myself be happier 
happiness is a choice um, and happiness is never the absence of uh, pain happiness is something that you need to constantly choose on a daily basis to be happy and it doesn't depend on what other people have it depends on you as an individual and i think from this book i realized that it's not so much in fact it's never material things that will actually bring you joy um material things really make it easier maybe in terms of um living life um but they can never really compensate for for happiness you have to find joy within yourself more than within i mean more than on on, on things or anything so um yeah you have to be you know mindful every day of what makes you happy um what you're about what do you want for yourself and um and and constantly you know find that within you and so this book is, is really about that um how you live um determines on the regrets that you're gonna have about your life or the joy that you're actually gonna have um about your life so it made me really think about a lot of things about myself about my own life and um i think it was quite relatable because these people these are real experiences it was not fiction um it was real experiences of people that actually were dying and you know they'd lived their lives and they 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 had one i mean they had similar regrets and it made me think that okay surely they can't be wrong you know and it made me also realize that uh, time is of the essence you know sometimes you think you've got so much time and you can dilly dally or you can do your own thing and all of that but actually you might not have that gift of time um so it made me really, really uh, think about the fact that in life you need to really cover your own path you need to be yourself and i think um because god has given us i mean we're all different in our own rights and um in our own right and i think that it would really be a shame for you to die and we haven't experienced you we haven't met the real you and we haven't really connected with a person that you're supposed to be and i think the honest is on you during this time when we're in isolation where we are like in this moment where that's never happened it's really up to you to really think um what do you really want for your life have you honored um half of your dreams you know or even a quarter of your dreams are you happy with the way things are in your life are you happy with the with the way you are living your life and yeah for me i really recommend this book i i, I found it very life-changing and it's a it's a book that i think i bought it for a couple of people because after i read it i was like oh wow this is very interesting and sometimes you can't really explain it to someone in words but when they read it themselves they can always you know find the words that you were trying to actually express but yeah i can definitely recommend it i think it's also on amazon it's it's available on amazon um and yeah as you quarantine and as you self-isolate this could be a good book to read and to really just bring yourself unto yourself but anyway thank you for watching um do share with me what are you reading at the moment um if you're not reading what are you drinking and yeah let's keep in touch bye <laughs>